Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. We hope you are doing well out there in Twitch land. This is my third stream of the day. I'm very, very happy to be here with Andrew and Christian, my fellow uh, teammates. These are my direct co-workers on the technical marketing team that I'm on here at Red Hat. Uh, a couple things real quick. Uh, so someone mentioned this morning that, uh, by the way, these videos live forever. So you might want to mention to some folks that are listening or watching that, yes, these videos do live forever, including potentially the chat if we're talking about it. So yes, there's that. So be nice to each other. Uh, don't do anything your mom wouldn't like or else I will tell her. Uh, also, we have a follower goal. So by the end of the month of June on Twitch, I want a thousand followers, right? Like we want a follower like storm to happen the month of June. So tell your friends, tell your family, we're at, we already got like 30 followers today. Like we can do this as a team, everybody here yeah. together. We can totally do this. I yeah, the call, like the, I like the call to arms. Nice. It, yeah. I mean, <laughs> let's get it. Let's, let's do this. Right. Let's do it big. So today, Andrew, uh, what's your name? Christian. Sorry. It's Tuesday <laughs> it's after Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> Please introduce yourselves. Uh, it hasn't been a long day for me yet, but we are getting there. So <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah. Hey, we will fix that for you. We will make yes, sure that, yes, that yes. it's a long day. Awesome. So, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So Andrew Sullivan, technical marketing manager. Uh, so I cover, among other things, virtualization, open shifts, uh, duties as assigned. Yeah, so um, Christian Hernandez, part of the same team, technical marketing manager, um, focused on uh, OpenShift core platform, um, other cool things like GetOps, um, and uh, things as assigned, right, Andrew? As, uh, as Andrew said, um, seems to be the norm nowadays, things as assigned. So, um, yeah, so it's good times, good times. So um, what do we... Wait, so what, what we is, are talking, we're talking about RBAC today, role-based access control, That's right? That's right. Yes. So everything you wanted to know, but we're too afraid to ask. We're too afraid um, to ask. I think that was a great title that I came up with. Um, yeah. Wanna, so like I've been give myself a pat on the back on that. I've been pushing it out there on Twitter, and yeah, it's a great title. I've been pushing it out there on Twitter and LinkedIn, right? Like I hope some people show up and like actually poke at us with some questions. Uh, let me check here. Uh, so <laughs> Nibbleizer has a big question on RBAC one. Oh yeah. How do I debug Explore it? That's a good question. Uh, I want That's a great that. question. All right. Two, we'll cover that. When I get handed an RBAC config from an install doc, like Datadog, how can I read their RBAC config and validate whether it's using least privilege? That's, 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 a, like, that's, a, that's yeah. like great questions. Thank you so much. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great question, right? So, um, so um, I want to I wanna touch on that, right? So, um, just a little little bit of background right before before we start uh, before we start hacking away um, um, red hat has been a big big uh um our hat uh, our hat <laughs> our back proponent for 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 a long time right so um, um as many of you know um kubernetes um didn't originally have our back, right? Originally, uh, you know, back or something like that. Yeah, it had, it. it had, yeah. it had, uh, yeah. Well, it had um the uh, um, the idea of like the admission controller, right, and all that. Um, but they didn't have a really, really a concept, right? I'm talking about like early, early, early on because early. I remember, um, I remember using um, OpenShift three, right? When that first, when that first, I came from the OpenShift two world, so when we kind of we had to do that paradigm shift all of us, right, to the OpenShift 3, because it was, we went from, you know, our own thing to Kubernetes. And I remember, um, you know, reading about Kubernetes, and I'm like, well, like, Kubernetes doesn't have, like, a lot of the stuff <laughs> that, like, enter enterprises needs, right? Well, I mean, it, it was the, you know, the, the, the initial release, dot one release, right? And we were, we were going to help build it, right? So that was the whole thing. If, if anyone wants to um, listen to a cool podcast, there's a Kubernetes podcast by, uh, by Google, and uh, Kayton Kloman was, um, he was, he was on that podcast and he kind of described the history of Red Hat and Google and trying to build Kubernetes, um, which everyone, you should go check it out if it's, uh, if it's on there. Um, yeah, it's so still on there. RBAC was first released in Kubernetes 1.6 
yes. all those yeah. many moons ago. So that would have been almost exactly uh, three years, actually. Three years ago, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah, 1.6, yeah. So that was that means that... Because I remember using R back in OpenShift 3.0, which was 1.0, right, for Kubernetes. Right. Um, so that's six releases after. Um, and a lot of the work... Wow. A lot of a lot of essentially we just donated what the work we did right. So a lot of the work that went into our back um, uh, was basically used in uh, Kubernetes upstream. So um, so it's it's uh, um, it's it's one of the cool things um, I, I always like to to think about like the history and how we got here um, that Red Hat did. Um, um, Amongst other things, right? So, like, there, there's always this thing about like OpenShift. Hey, you know, like, why do you have routes instead of like using ingress points? Like, well, back in the day, there was no such thing as even an ingress point. You're, you're lucky right. to even have that object now, <laughs> because <laughs> you know, like, I, I'd be like one of those old guys, get off my lawn, right? Like back in my day, we didn't have ingress, so we had to write our own um, <laughs> sort of <laughs> sort of thing. So similar idea, same thing with with our back. So. Um, um, so yeah, so that's a little of the history of uh, of our back, um, and I think I think I'm just gonna start. Where is share yeah. my screen? Share. There we go. Share. Yeah. I'm gonna share my there. screen. Uh, there you go. Desktop. I think so. I always I always struggle to find which one. Is it this one? Okay. Oh we'll boy. See. Here we go. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, guys, you go don't don't see anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should see my. You should see the CLI. Let me see if uh, you I do see, see a CLI. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, good, good yep. stuff. Right, uh, um, browser window. Yep, browser window. Cool, cool. Um, so let's go through. Uh, go through something simple, right? So let me get my my console uh, copy link. Um, um, this is brand new cluster because I never logged into this. Um, let's see here. Brand spanking new. Brent it's not Spanky. dangerous at all. It's not dangerous at all. Yeah, this yeah. is where this is like live, live. I finished building right before. Um, I believe we get users, right? Uh, see if that works. Oh, it does work. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just logging as user one. Right. It's never um, good when you're surprised when it works. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and we are uh, not even 10 minutes into the stream. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, success so far, right? So let's uh, let's do um, let's create a project, right? Um, project. I'll call this. Um, so we had. Um, oh, we need a naming theme. We need a naming theme, right? I always like doing naming things. We did um, uh, Star Wars planets last time. We've done okay. Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've done you Star Wars. Do, um, uh, you, Mario, you, characters? You, Mario, Mario characters. Mario characters. Brothers characters. There we go. All right, Mario characters. So um, I'll just Yoshi. use. Yoshi. Yoshi, perfect. Yeah. Get this project, Yoshi. Um, to create this. Like that sounds like something real. Like. Yeah, it's, like it sounds. Like, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it's a upstream project or something, right? Like Yoshi. Oh, you guys use Yoshi. It's the um the YAML um obfuscator shell interaction. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out an acronym. Uh, YAML. Obsoleter service. Hi. <laughs> Hi, yeah. <laughs> Hybrid interaction. So, Hybrid interactions. There you go. Yeah. So uh, let's deploy. Um, right. Let's get to a uh, the developer view. Right. Because we all love the developer view here. Um, let's go. Uh, let's. I have have an image. Let's go to container image. Uh, hopefully, Quay's not down today. So we'll see. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, and um, GitHub was, I think, down the other day. GitHub was, like, I feel like, uh, what was it, last Friday, like, everything went down towards, like, the 3 to 5 p.m. time frame on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know it was what literally, happened. like, the world suggesting everybody go ahead and just stop working. Yeah, just just start your weekend now because both right. GitHub and Quay was, like, one of the biggest registries out there. Um, yeah. I would say like the second one or second or third, I don't know, biggest registries out there. And then GitHub, which is probably like the the place where everyone works from. The linchpin, <laughs> yeah. If yeah. Slack would have gone down, it, I just would have thrown my laptop in the corner. Yeah, I would have been like, you know what, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm just out. I'm out. <laughs> um, so we'll call this app 
Um, this is just a, a dumb app here. Uh, we'll just do a deployment and create a route, right? So we'll, we got this, it's deploying. Um, All right, so Duth Coupon is mentioned in chat. Hope, hope the search SWAT goes with no uh, issues under the hood. Hey, just to let everybody know, we don't, oh. like we provision everything with self-signed search, right? Like we can provision our clusters with Let's Encrypt. Uh, we typically don't just cause it's an extra checkbox for us. And, and once yeah, we're waste, in, we're in and why waste and, the precious calories, right? Right. And you know, <laughs> like let's encrypt is a great service, but we don't necessarily want to burn them down creating, you know, clusters left and right like we do. So using yeah. self-signed search, something we do to just kind of take it easy on the internet, but yeah, well, and, and I, th I think that's a, um, that's a good thing. Like why, if, if it's just a test sort of cluster, why would I want to let's encrypt? Right. Um, right. Exactly. Why, why do I need, resources. right? Like, yeah. Like if it's just for me, um, but I mean, you know, Hey, whatever. Well, I mean, you did a pretty cool, uh, um, stream using let's encrypt, right. With, uh, OBS Ninja. That was really cool. I was watching that. Yeah. Um, I actually need to break that out and do a separate thing and like share it with the guy. I actually put it on, on the OBS Ninja, uh, uh Reddit page and they were like, Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So yeah, that was kind of fun. So there we go. Cool. My app is up. Um, where's, this guy here. All right, yeah, it was up. Another question in chat. How do you get past HSTS with self-signed search on OCP4? We don't have HSTS uh, configured for the domain that we're using. So that's how. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> that's how we get around it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. Um, so uh, yeah, so now that I have this app, um, this cool, this is actually new for the um, for the developer view in version 4.4. Right? Yes, is a project access, right? There's an actual tab here that says uh, project access. So this is um, um, for uh, for OpenShift, right? There are um, there are built-in roles, right? Um, that you can um, that you can assign people, so you don't have to um, trip over yourself in trying to define custom roles, um, like trying to build a um, a role and a role binding. And trying to figure out figure all that out, we have uh, built-in ones. So the ones that are built in are um, admin, um, edit, and view. Right. So kind of the the the, ba the basics. Right. The the biggest difference between edit and admin is that an admin can delete the project, but other than that, it's pretty similar. Um, and then view obviously is like read only. Right. So this so, is like what, so what, you, what you get in Christian. Out of the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's let's take a step back and sure. So prior to, or, or I guess contributing to all of that are kind of two important things, right? Roles and role bindings. And both of those are used. So, so roles define a set of permissions. Role bindings associate those permissions with a user. And then the user comes from, right, the, uh, uh, the authentica authentication provider. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to walk through any of those permission sets associated with a role binding or excuse me, a role definition. Or draw a pretty picture. Draw a pretty picture. <laughs> or yeah, there's a, <laughs> yeah, so there's so there's it's a um um it depends how deep the rab rabbit hole you want to go, right? So it's um uh coming from the the, the fact that I'm assuming you've gone through the trouble. Of doing authentication um, with with OpenShift because that's a that's a whole nother whole nother beast trying to um, tie in authentication to Kubernetes. So for those um, for those of you who aren't familiar, um, Kubernetes itself kind of takes a, a hands off approach to authentication and basically says I trust whatever you tell me to trust. Um, so for example, the um, uh, the most basic way just just talking about Kubernetes in general. Uh, to authenticate is using a certificate-based authentication, right? So there's um, you you create a certificate, TLS certificate, and then you use that certificate to interact with uh, um, with the API, right? And that's just like just bare bones. Um, there's a way to um, plug in different authentication things like SSO, things like LDAP, um, things like uh, the the, the most common way of doing is uh, doing, um, I think it's open ID. I think it's almost the most common way. I think it's either open ID or um, the one that gives you a JWT. Um, I think it's open ID. Uh, 
Yeah, I forget that. That, I right. that that's an, that's another common one. It's essentially what Kubernetes does is, is that you told me to trust this. Um, give me the token. Yeah, yeah, OAuth, right? Yeah, um, and um, and then it'll it'll trust that to, right. It'll give that token to the backend system. That guy says, yeah, trust that token. That sort of thing, right? So once you're logged in, I assume right that, that you've done all that all that. Um, uh, authentication piece right so now now we're we're it's, it's a conversation of authentication and authorization right so now we're in like in the like okay like now that i know who you are what can you do um that sort of thing right so um so if i go to um i think it'll be if i add a user i think it'd be it'd be easier to do this here um user two and then I'm going to do view, right? So if I do view, um, this person has read only. So I'm doing this as a regular user. Um, so right? you're creating so that, this project as yourself, as a I'm doing non, this, yeah. as a I'm non, a non cube cluster yeah. admin kind of thing. Correct. Yeah. So like uh, me as an owner of this project, right? I'm giving people access, right? So that's I, I can. Um, uh, me as a regular user, so this is part of the um, the, the the self um, uh, the self service aspect of OpenShift, right? Is basically, oh hey, um, me as a developer, I can have a project, and I can then give that access to other people, um, other groups as well, um, things like that, right? So um, so like here as user one, I'm saying, hey, give user two a view access. Right. Once I save that, um, and then I go to uh, let's go here. Log out. Um, I'm gonna do user two. I believe it is this guy. Yes. Okay. And then um, yeah, I can't this group in, uh, but I do have access to Yoshi. That's always good. That's always good access to Yoshi, mm -hmm. right? And I and I do um, almost like that I, was planned. Almost like this was planned. Yeah. Um, so here, right? So here, if I do, uh, I think I need to go to the admin view for this. Workloads, deployments. Yeah, here we go. If I go to the deployments, um, I can't do anything with this pod, right? And if I go down to, let's uh, let me copy login command. Uh, this guy. All right, everyone look away. Nah, no. <laughs> All right. So if I do OC get pods, I get the pods. If I OC delete pod, let's get this guy. Right. So I'm no longer, um, I'm not allowed, right, to um, GTFO. Yeah, GTFO. Like you're, you're, you're not allowed, right? And so if I do, um, um. Andrew, what's the command to show OC get? Um, I should probably finish my question. What's the command? <laughs> what's the command to show the um, uh, uh, the role bind? Is it OC get cluster role bindings? Right, I believe so. I believe so. I need to log in as an admin for this. Okay, I'll log in. Let's do server uh, user username. I think it is. Uh, open TLC. You spelled it wrong. You Did said it? open LTC. Oh, yeah. Hmm. TLC. Okay, can never remember this. Which which one are you looking for? Are you looking for the... Oh, that one, I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so OC gets... Cluster role bindings? Um, well, if you want the role definition, it's just cluster role. Oh, cluster role, yeah, yeah. Cluster role. Yeah, cluster role and cluster role bindings. There yeah, cluster role, yeah, we want to see the Those view. Those are the big two, yeah. Right, um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Right, so then um, let's do a, a edit, edit on this. Um, because I'm a VI guy and I like my 
<laughs> yeah, my VI thing. So, um, so this is the cluster role, right? So some of the, um, uh, what is exactly like, like what uh, Andrew was saying, um, I assign what, what is exactly a cluster role, right? So I assign the, the name, the, um, the built-in one, which is called view, right? So this is that, this guy here, um, to this user for this namespace. Right. And so some of the things is, is essentially what you need to do. What it's doing here is that um, you have to list each and every single API that this um, this user needs access to. So, for example, for the API group um, operators.chorus.com, the resources, cluster service versions, catalog sources, install plans, yada, yada. What is allowed? Things like get, list, watch. Right. Um, let's do something a little. Um, Let's see pods where it is here api groups this would be where it is there should be one that says if only there were a find command yeah well i'm slashing for pods so oh. <laughs> or maybe maybe that's not what i'm looking for um i'm looking for oh yeah api groups so someone correct me if i'm wrong API groups, image, API groups, project. Which one are you looking for? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Object. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking for um, I, I'm I'm looking for uh, a, a simple example here. But here is this projects. In the projects, you're um, you're allowed to get right, essentially, or basically, just um, is basically it's, it's like the OC get right or uh, kubectl right. get. That's the verb you're allowed to go against this uh, this API, right? And oh, okay. you can go, and you can go down here, um, and just look at all these um, um, all these yeah, the, uh, the API, yeah, the various yeah, namespaces. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the um, the various API groups, and um, what resources you're allowed to do what against, right? And this these are the the built-in ones. Um, before you would have to like like type all this by hand, or know what you want to do, o almost like um, the the AP, um, the AWS, what's the uh, the the IAM roles, right? Almost like exactly you have to like know what <laughs> what what to do here. Uh, some of these, um, it's kind of nice to have some of these uh, built in. And if I'm if I'm not mistaken, maybe Andrew, you know the name of this. So um, here in this line. 953. So, uh, does an empty set mean all? Uh, I think it all. means because I because well, usually it's either all or none. It's none because it's. I thought it had to have a quote star, right? Yeah, I, I think star asterisk is all. Asterisk is all. Okay. I think could be wrong. That, that's very sense. very deep in the cockles of my mind. I that's very very <laughs> in the cobwebs in the co in the cobwebs, cobwebs uh, in the everywhere cobwebs mind, things yeah. floating around. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's see. So that's that's basically okay. The so nibbleizer in chat. A good red flag when reviewing the policies you're given is if there are any quote asterisks quote. Yeah. Also look so for from really broad assignments like system. Colon authenticated, authenticated yeah. empty so, set uh, and R yeah. Yep. And, and the yeah, easy, not, yeah. So the easy way to do this is OC describe cluster role dot R back space view. Well now I'm or sorry, slash view. Either one will work. Cluster role R back like that. Dot dot R back. Cluster role dot R back. Okay. Yep. And then um view. 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 Okay. There we go. So it'll it'll give Today you a nice I summary. Learned. This is actually a better view than the than the array. Oh yeah, yeah. I had to look up the command because I couldn't remember it. I knew that there was an easier way of seeing it. What yeah, was there it? We OC go. describe cluster, cluster role, role dot, dot R back. R back. and then cluster. the name of the role that you want to look at. And you can also do a local role. So if you don't have cluster level permissions, so um, cluster role, cluster local role is the other one. Yes, I never do cluster local roles, or I never do local roles. So, OC get cluster local role. Oh dot R back view. Uh, 
uh, just try roll binding. No, no cluster, because it oh. wouldn't be a cluster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll binding. Dot. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't view oh, it. You're logged in as user two. Yeah. Try so do a uh, roll binding dot back same as before. Yeah, it won't no. let me. I'm just yeah. user two. I'm just lonely. Uh, open T. You got no rights. I got no rights. Because I have view, right? I have the the view. Um, so let's change that. Uh, let's log out. Log it out. Log it in. Uh, user one. Let me begin. Okay. And then uh, developer. So we got here um, project access. And then I'm gonna give this guy edit, right? Um, And so now as user two, I should be able to, now I should be able to do something here. Uh, pods, no. Where is, how do you get deployments from here? I want to know. Okay, well, this is the details. So I can scale up here. Okay. There we go. And so now I, now I can edit this here. So, um, so one of the things I actually wanted to go over was uh, some of the um, some of the common thing I ran into right when I was out in the field was um, the fact that the fact that people um, customers usually like the edit role they really like the edit role but one of the things they don't like about it and let me. Um, let me go here. Let me log. Uh, who am I? No, I want to um, user two. Uh, oh, token. There we go. Uh, OC get pods, and then I can do OC RSH. Um, right now I'm in the container. Right. Um, so, so some of the things that the um, that that some customers would say is like, well, you know what, we really really like the edit role, um, but we don't want people to RSH, right? We don't want people to remote shell into um, uh, um, into the remote container. Remote shell is evil. Yeah, yeah, or like you know, like <laughs> we, we don't we don't want people just logging in, right? Because yeah. I guess in in um, in theory, if you're like mounting secrets. I can see that file, right? If I just yeah. RSH into it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you don't necessarily you can see want everything. To, yeah. yeah, yeah, you don't necessarily want developers to be able to see that, right? You want to be able to deploy the containers, but you know, why do they need to log in, right? Well, it's the so, same principle of not SSHing into servers. Correct. No, yeah, yeah. you know, pet versus cattle kind of deal. That that whole that whole nine yards. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, and like they, they may have a policy, right? Like we don't let developers is cessation to the servers why should a container be any different right so i i totally get that um so one of the the quickest way to see what what goes on if you do an oc um if you rsh again oops except actually add um log level equals eight you can actually see all the api calls that happen ding, ding, ding. Uh, oh. uh i think i need to add it on this side. four before yeah yeah it thinks it wants me to run a command called log level equals eight. And so one of the things that happens here, you should be able to see it. Maybe you don't. The authorization bearer tokens mass, thankfully. Bear, who's bear? Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah. Mask, yeah. I guess yeah. that's, or was it nine? I think if you go, go higher. If you go higher, it's unmasked. Let's do higher. Does it go to eleven though? Does it go to eleven? <laughs> oh, this goes to eleven. <laughs> so there's a little bit more here. You should be yeah. able to see what. Look, um, just do a like find for bear. Who's bear? Who is bear? 
I wish I can like less this. Oh, I guess I can. Can you? Can I? Oh no, I'm stuck. No, yeah, you're screwed. Womp womp. Womp womp. Oh, and. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really messed up here. Control L. Reset. Yeah, type reset. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was gonna type reset. Um. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> This is weird. Yeah, it was really weird. Um, you should be able to see. Um, it might not be in there. I saw it before. I wonder where I was looking. You should see pod exec is what I'm looking for. Oh. So it's at the end of the URL that it uses, right? So if you look, um, it just jumped around. Welcome PHP. Oh, there we go. You'll see yeah. pods. And then the this name pod of the pod exec. and then slash exec. Yep. Exec. All right. So we're looking for pod exec. So the uh, the API it calls is pod exec. So, um, so what we so what I used to recommend to customers is like find instead of like writing a lot of um, a lot of this by hand, find something that's close to what you yeah. want, and just modify it. Right, yep. or like make a copy of it, right? So, um, who am I again? I have to make sure. Open TLC. No, that guy. Um, so, if I do an OC get a cluster, oops, cluster role uh, view, right? Yeah, uh, dash O YAML, right? So, this gives me the YAML for view. Oops, sorry, not for view. Uh, we want to do edit, right? Because we want to be able to edit, but then um, uh, remove the ability to RSH, right? So let's write right. this to a file um, called no rsh.yaml. My mic's in my way, so I have to look. <laughs> that's why I keep. That's why I keep clearing the screen. By the way, I, I did a, a Twitch stream with um, who was it? Uh, Jason, right? Yeah. And he he kept he's like, why do you keep clearing the screen? <laughs> you don't give me time to read anything, and it's because my <laughs> mic's in my way, right? Like I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to work around the mic. So. Got to get an arm, man. You got to yeah. Get a I know. Mic yeah, I, I've been I've been I've been wanting to get that arm, the boom mic, to try to try to be able to do this here. Actually, um, I'm telling you, dude. Like, I've got all the stuff. If you can't find it online, I'll just ship it to you because I've got all the stuff for my old one. Wow, Lee, you upgraded hand me downs. I don't mind hand me downs actually. Well, I mean, it's it, it's a it's a pandemic, man. We gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, yeah. With, your got, mic, got with your microphone, you can put it up above the monitor too. So, so like that I doesn't. Just, my camera sits right up there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, you can. Uh, yeah. That that works because you uh, you have a. It's condenser. not recommended to do like this because yeah, it'll pick a, up your keyboard sound. Yeah, well, well he has a condenser like, mic, not a dynamic, anyways. So right, yeah, that'd be cool. And also, if I put it in front of me, then I won't be able to see my. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, mine usually lives down low. Or yeah, like right here in front of my face, so I can see everything as I type. Yeah. So cool. Um, exec, right? So, so essentially, I'm looking for a pod exec. Um, so one of the things that you need to do is normalize this here because they got rid of uh, kubectl export. Um, much to my chagrin. Um, so we don't want a UUID self link. We could take that out. Creation timestamp. I always leave as blank. Uh, resource version. Get rid of that guy. So um, here's uh, what's that? Yeah, change the name. Um, we'll call this no RSH. Another thing you need to um, when, when you're doing this. Oops. One thing that you need to. Uh, uh, to keep in mind here is this an aggregation rule. So this aggregation rule, what what ends up from a high level, what ends up happening is that it'll um, it'll include it'll include this role into the edit role, meaning that it's it's kind of like when you if, if I don't get rid of this, it'll take this arp uh, this cluster role, and then it'll um, it'll add the edit role to this role. 
meaning that if I take away pod exec, it'll re-add it <laughs> when when it aggregates um, when it aggregates the the edit role back into my. So the the idea is with the aggregation rule is that you can maybe add two or three things and mm -hmm. then aggregate um, a bigger role to it, right? So um, yeah, creating more granular files that correct. Yeah. result yeah. in one bigger applied. So if you're familiar with MCO, oh. right? MCO yeah. works on the same principle of I define multiple machine configs that are then aggregated into the one that's applied to the node. Yep. Yeah. I think, uh, did Eric do uh, one with MCO? Or he threatened to do one with MCO. He I'm threatened sure. to do one and I hadn't done it yet. So. Okay, yeah. it's That one is, you're going to need like a pot of coffee in four hours for it because it, it gets... <sighs> It gets pretty. It gets pretty pretty gnarly how things work. The second um, I have to install an astronaut bathroom is the second the streams are too long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> that, that's that's your that's your uh, um, uh, that's your threshold, right? You, as soon as I have to do that, right. I'm gonna right. start breaking these up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so besides um, removing. Um, some of the things like creation time stamp and uh, self link and things like that, I remove the aggregation rule as well because I want this to be a standalone um, right. rule. Um, so I did that, remove the aggregation rule, uh, take off all the um, all the stuff that Kubernetes adds, um, like creation time stamp, change the name as Andrew pointed out, or else I would have done something bad, and then uh, start removing things that you don't need. Um, so for that, for instance. Um, it's like, hey, I love ed I love the edit role. Mm. Don't want you to don't want uh, do RSH, right? So, um, so remove the exec part, um, and then there you have it. So if you do, this OCD is also a good way to mess with your friends if they're if you're. If yes, you're exactly. Yeah. <laughs> mess with your friends, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> um, so once I oops, uh, oh. object parsing time. Oh. Um, Let's take out the creation timestamp. Yeah, just delete that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't need it. We'll work around it. Blue alive. There we go. Ta da! So, so ta da! I have that created. Um. So let me log out. So Waziri uh, or Wallet is saying that uh, uh, pods attach is similar. And I'm trying to think. Pod Pods attach. attach is for storage, though, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah. Um, nah. Yeah. Let's 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 do what Eric let, let's do what yeah, Eric says. What what, what do the docs say? Let's Google it live. <laughs> let's let's see what the docs say. Let's attach roll. So let's see here. Well, the first one that pops up is get into a shell running on a container. So yeah, well, that's encouraging. Well, well, I notice it's not blue. Yeah. Yeah, because I looked for it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Pods, uh, there should be a, a, a like a reference, like an API reference. An API reference. So kubectl little a reference docs I got right here. Kubectl command. Cube cuddle. I do kubectl. Okay, so this is exact, right? Cuddle. I cuddle my cubes. I'm cuddle my cubes. So it's edits. Uh, so wait, wait. It's Exec attach. Working with attach. apps. Ex attach auth cp describe. There it is. Oh, it attaches the pro. Also, like, uh, is this is this similar to like an NS enter? It's like where you're doing a namespace enter. Is that what you were talking about? It is, so attach attaches the to the process of the pod. Um, so hit hit attach instead of exec. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Attach process that's already running inside an existing container. Attach. So you would essentially <laughs> pick up the standard <laughs> out of whatever process was running. Like you would foreground the process, maybe? Essentially? Yeah. Okay. I think that's enough on this. The first one. container in a pod. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Attach. Pod running timeout standard in. Oh, okay. So actually, this is this is actually pretty cool. So I removed um, um, pod exec, but let's see if we can still get into the container even after doing that. So um, yeah, that, that's, well, that's so I think exec basically creates a new 
process TTY, inside right? of inside of the container, and whereas attaches attach to attaches to an existing <laughs> process. So if you're yeah, running gotcha. something that is non-interactive, so maybe you're running Here. Here we go. Uh, a PHP one. command or something like that, it would basically you're attaching to PHP. If you're running a Bash script, sure, yeah. you're going to be attached into the into Bash itself and probably have some interactivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I do uh, obviously OCD project, um, so uh, just to kind of expand what Andrew said, um, if I do an OCRSH, oops, OC get pods, and do an OCRSH, uh, remember, I'm an admin, right? So this is not the user two. So if I do an OC get pods, uh, you can OC also do, OCRSH. I think it's OC can I? Um, yes, can I? Is another one. Um, so if I do OCRSH, I can get there. OCRSH is basically a shorthand for OZ exec. Um, oops, I forgot the dash I. Oops, why did I? There we go. Exec dash it um, bin batch right. So uh, what Andrew was saying was that. Since this 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 container actually um, the entry point for this is HTTP dash D foreground, right? So um, I can't get a shell on this because um, to this process because I I can't um, there's no this bash isn't running. So doing an OC exec basically what Andrew says forks another process and attaches me to that. Whereas um, whereas attach here attaches to an existing process already running. So I don't, I don't, I'm not forking another process. I'm not, um, uh, I'm not, uh, um, yeah, yeah, I guess that's, that's the, that's the, that's the short of it. Yeah. So try, um, so go back to your command line. It's OC yeah. space off space can dash I, uh, and then you can do I like do. pod attach. Like that. Should pod space. Oh, pod and attach to it. Yep. Or as the other user, or I guess you haven't tried it yet, but the uh, uh, exec. It says yes, even though it gives me a warning. <laughs> Let's uh, look at the docs. OC, can I help? EDM. Or OC auth rather. Oh yeah, auth. Can I? Can I help? Oh okay. So can uh, so it's the other way around. So can I exec pods? Yes. Well, that's good. Can I? Um, what was it? Attach. Yes. Okay. Cool. So then, um, so let's log in as user two. Um, have you memorized the token yet? OC can, oops, off can. So like remembering places of pi? Yes. <laughs> How many decimals can you remember? So you haven't applied the new. Is it uh, viewpod? I forgot. No, yep. it can't be viewpod. It's ver verb object. Oh, verb object. OK. Um, is it help? Uh, yep. Create. So can I uh, exec pod? If I say yes. No, why not? Let's see who am I? Because I, I didn't apply the. Uh, Uh, OC project, Yoshi, make sure I'm on the right project. Yoshi, I'm already on Yoshi. Can I um, list pods? Yes. How come I can't exec? Is this user still view only or are they edit? Oh, I don't remember. maybe. Uh, let's go to project access. This is user has edit. Oh, they're edit. So I should be able to, unless I overwrote edit. 
That would have been <laughs> that would be funny. Um, no, we changed the name. No, we changed the name. Picked it up yeah. from something else. Yeah. So let's. Uh, you did you or did you not apply it? Well, I applied. I applied the role. Um, the custom role, but I I didn't right. um, I didn't assign. I assigned this guy edit, so I sh it right. should say yes. No. <laughs> why? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Yeah. Uh, really so I think you me. can do uh, if you do the OC auth can I and do star star. I think you have to put it in quote single quotes. It'll list all of your Doubles. permissions. Like the star star. Yeah. No. So you can't do quotes. everything. I can't do everything. Okay, that's good. Okay. Or maybe that's just checking for administrator access. I thought there was one that will print out your current. It was in the help. Hit the, the help again for it. I'll tell you. Well, it allows me in. Interesting. Mm. Well, I don't know why it tells me no. Wait. Do I have to? Um... I don't know oh, why this is. by the namespace? No. No. Hmm. But why? <laughs> uh, yeah, so you said dash H, right? Yeah, so see the OC can I splash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Splash means all. So Here, if you can't do everything. Yeah, because I'm on edit. I'm an edit man. Uh, there, the right. bottom one. OC auth can I dash dash list. There we go. Ah, okay. List and then um, Yoshi. Yoshi. Okay. Let me the list. Don't do. Okay. And then uh, exec. Go to four pods exec. Get list, watch, create, delete, delete. Interesting. Hmm. There must be a, must be a reason attach. why. Yeah. Mm. Attach, get list. What's I wonder if it's just. It's just the, you, way, the way I'm typing it, the way I'm invoking it. I don't know. Because I would think that would say yes, because. Because you can actually. You can actually do it, yeah. Right. But. Let me see if. Yeah, I was about to say, try an exec command and see if that fails you. Nope. Oh, okay. Interesting. So now we're asking ourselves our back questions. Why isn't this working? <laughs> well, I'm just one. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it is. It is. Um, so I do have. So it's working as expected because user two has edit. Um, oh, that's right. Can, Sorry. Yeah. And, and I can do it. It's just I'm just wondering why um, the can I command says no says no when I can obviously can. Right. So, the, so it, it, I, I might be invoking this, uh, the OC can, off, you, can I command wrong? I might. You, yeah, I'm wondering. Is that, that's type, the only reason. Do you need to type in a real pod name? I wouldn't think that would be a thing. But. No, because it's just checking the permission against the API. Yeah. Get list, watch, delete, et cetera. Shortcuts and groups will be resolved. Uh, Non-resource URL is partial URL starts with slash name of the game. That would be pretty good. Okay, so was that any help? Huh. Jobs. You would think that would say yes. Right. So let me. Um, I don't want to do that. Are there any nested things that are get, making it getting rewritten someplace else? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so because I removed the aggregation rule, and and I would think the aggregation rule um, wouldn't be take place at least at this um, at, at this juncture. Yeah, username, yeah. user one. Let's go to user one. This is this guy. K. 
can I no interesting hmm. but I'm an admin on this one at least on this right. at least on this name on this, yeah, on this yeah, namespace. Like <laughs> the that, ah. so that was that wasn't expected um <laughs> yeah Let's see if I see anything coming out here. Uh, so what's it checking against? Um, so the, oh, there's a bear token. Token, yeah. Verbs, create, delete. OK, so these are all the things that it's posting, and it's posting against. So I wonder if this is, yeah, it's going to the authorization. Okay, well that, that goes that theory. I was thinking maybe it went to like some OpenShift specific thing. Hmm. I don't think so. Or maybe it is going through an OpenShift specific thing, and we're asking the authorization API from Kubernetes. Oh, I see what you're there saying. Might there might be like different a disconnect. Yeah. yeah, it might be a disconnect there. Or a different, different command. Oh, wait, which commands are you using? You using K or OC? OC. Okay. Well, hmm. Um. So if I do like OC. Oops. Hmm. Okay. So this is Q cuddle. No. Huh. Well. Interesting. Yeah, I we can... I'm looking at the same thing on my side. Yeah, trying I to see. I wonder if this is. Um, so I wonder if this is something we go to the the Kate's office hours for later this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Interesting. I'm just wondering if, although I would consider that a bug, but I'm just wondering if. Right. Um. All the authorization stuff is like OpenShift is handling it, but when I do a can I, the the Kate's API is answering. Um, that, that that doesn't seem like something we do. That doesn't. Though, yeah, that wouldn't. That, <laughs> that like, would. <laughs> like my brain like is first, short circuiting yeah. trying to figure yeah. out how that would even happen. Right? Yeah. Like there would have to be something that says ignore all this OpenShift stuff. No, really, go look over here. Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> I, but it, uh, can I explore exec pods? No. And then can I? Huh. But I can get them, right? Okay. Can I list them? This is like like uh, asking a magic eight ball. Mm. I wanted to say Outlook not so good. Can I? <laughs> oh, I've got, got a not nerdy so magic eight ball right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Wait, what, what does that have? What's that logo? Uh, the power symbol on it. Oh, that, that's pretty from, cool. <laughs> remember Think Geek? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that. pretty cool. Yeah. So it says win. Whatever you're doing, you're winning. You're winning. Yeah. Win. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Be root. It says that as well. Be root yeah. anytime. Just be root. Be root. Well, okay. How I, I gotta ask from a programming perspective: How much further do we go down this rabbit hole? Um, can I watch pods? I'm gonna try this thing here. Yes, probably because I'm admin. You're you, yeah. I'm, I'm root at this. You're point. open uh, TLC, yeah, yeah. Yeah, open TLC, so I'm root. Um, was there anything no that it told you before? It, all these it told you no before. No, no. These um, the only thing it tells me no are things that it should have said yes to. <laughs> right. So, but now, so, okay. Yeah. So, no. What I'm trying to get at is you were logged in as user two, and it said no, but you were able to. Now you're logged yes. in as cluster admin, and it says yes, and of course you're able to. So. Yeah, and then that's super weird. Yeah, and I am able to. So, all right. 
So instead of going further down that rabbit hole, we may come back to it. We will um, transition <laughs> rabbit holes. We'll transition. Yeah, which rabbit hole do you want to jump down? Um, so, so I, I mean, have, the the did we go down the how far down nebulizer's list did we go down? Nebulizer. I think he gave big up. Question. No, he didn't give up. Uh, <laughs> how do I debug and explore it? When I get handed an artifact, oh, yeah. how go. can I read and verify validate that it's using least privilege? Yeah. So how do you debug? And how would you know that something is least privilege? Obviously, the shorter it is as far as a definition file, the fewer privileges yeah, it the, has. The fewer, yeah, the fewer roles it has, uh, yeah. The splats are bad. Um, so obviously, more specific is right. always better, right? Yeah. So if you're, if, you get, if you're getting your RBAC... Um, files because I, I think um, some people just like blindly load. I know I do. I know I'm guilty of it. I just blindly load. So especially when you're doing like operators and stuff, like I just want to like yeah. get to for the next shame call. for yeah. shame. <laughs> so yeah, don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> so don't. So don't do that. Don't do what I do. It's just blindly load just the OC create dash f or kubectl create dash f. Um, you know, the, your operator.yaml, which includes the RBAC and the binding. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's obviously some of the things you want to look for, the splatting, right? So you don't want to do splat, API splat, you know, verb splat, right? Like you yeah. obviously don't want, <laughs> you uh, you want to go um, uh, more specific is always better, right? And then, um, and seeing like some of the things someone mentioned in the chat, and I think it's very good to um, to look for um, if you have things like system unauthentic, uh, um, authenticated, meaning that um, if you're authenticated, then you're allowed to do it. So mm. you don't you you don't necessarily mm. want um, just anyone authenticated who's authenticated. users. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so just basically looking, um, looking for those things, right? And and looking and just making sure that it's as as specific as you can get. Um, yeah, it shouldn't have some admin level permission that it would never need uh, just because, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, hmm, See, this smells fishy. Why would it need to be able to touch storage when it's a stateless app, right? Like, you don't. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Christian, I just used the Zoom chat to send you the link to the Datadog uh, Helm template for our back or agent for the agent. I'll drop that in the Twitch chat for our friends here. So <laughs> big gnarly thing. It's surprisingly um, condensed, actually. I mean, it's yeah, but and notice lines. where it says API groups blank, API groups blank, right? Like that's that's a good thing, right? Like yeah, the, well, the blank quotes are good because there's no definition. So remember, each resource has a different set of API groups. So if we look at the, the thing that I just linked, right? So starting on line 13 is the first API group and the first set of resources. So essentially, it's saying yeah. for services, endpoints, pods, nodes, component statuses, any API underneath those, <laughs> you can do get list and watch. Yes. Mm -hmm. So likewise for events, so line 28, you know, it's adding create inside of there. Yeah. So, and that's kind of the, so you can see an example of a specific API groups on line 34. Right. So if I'm looking at a, um, you know, for example, a CRD, um, I'll, I'll pick on um, uh, OpenShift virtualization, right, which creates its own API group. Um, you can do the same thing with, you know, almost any operator is going to have, you know, the CRDs that it applies to. That's where you would apply to its subset of resources inside of there. Yeah. So for, for example, I actually have a, um, an operator that I wrote, uh, OpenShift uh, operator uh, install. Yeah. So don't, uh, this, this is a while back. There you go. So I have, I have a cluster role and I actually had to add, I had to add this from operator to work. Um, 
hmm. because I needed to specify the OpenShift route, right? So the I'm, I'm kind of oh, so you needed to give it unique permissions to mingle routes or what? yeah. So my operator creates a route uh, for this okay. application, um, and it needs to be able to create, update, delete, get list, watch. Um, gotcha. I, could, I should probably yeah. get get rid of. Uh, do we need? Do I need watch? I don't know. Um, but it, it it like it messes it messes with the routes um, for. Uh, for this, so like the um, so as Andrew was saying, if you have like an operator that um, deploys a CRD, right? So if you're writing an operator, you're deploying a CRD, you have to just remember to put that um, into your API groups. Um, our back, um, um, what's this? Um, um, role binding, uh, right? Spec. Not not the binding, yeah. the um, the other one on that side. I'm drawing a blank. Close your role. Cluster role binding, there it is. Yeah. Cluster role, sorry. Um, so yeah. So if you see enough of these, it actually starts getting. It, I, I know it looks. It looks like for me at first, I was like, hey, "Yeah, I never do this." Sorry, I needed to update. <laughs> I need. I need to update verbs all. Just do, just do everything. <laughs> I was debugging something. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, in yeah. those API groups, you can look at with. Um, so the simplest way I know of is OC space API dash resources. Yeah. Um, I have to keep checking these commands because I use them so infrequently that I'm. Yeah. I like the, this is all like, again, dust and cobwebs territory. Yeah. Yeah. So you see at the top where IP API group is empty, that would be the blank string. So yeah. anything inside of there is going to apply. And that's um, this right here, the right? Core, yep. So that's kind of the core set of capabilities associated with Kubernetes. And then as you get down below, it's all of the CRDs mm. that are implemented through various things. Yeah. So for mutating webhook configurations for this API group, right? This is not namespaced. Yeah. Cool. I'm trying to remember, and I'm my Google is Your failing Google me of... How to how to get a list of all of the verbs available for each one of those? Oh, um, oh, available verbs. Yeah, yeah. I think it's that easy. Is it not? Should be easy. Like that's it, right? Oh, right. see, you get. See, so you get cluster roles. So that's uh, well, it's there. By the way, uh, do uh, dash yeah. o wide. Dash O wide. Man. Ah, there we go. On the end of the uh, OC API. Oh, on the API? Yep. Oh, so cool. A there it is. There, so now you I can see. Yep. And you can also get a look at the sub resources, but I think it's um, if you do in OC API resources and then dash dash API dash group. Like hold on, choose one. Yeah, I want to choose. Yeah, choose one. So we, um, oh, is it get API resource right? So uh, you don't have a uh, on mine. I have Kubert. Um, so do like uh, console dot openshift dot io. So oc api dash resources space 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 dash dash api dash group equals. Gotcha. Group and then so do, can I do like routes. Um, does, that, does that work? That might work. Doesn't say anything. Um, what was the, the, the other one you were saying? So do like um, con console.openshift.io. Would be that middle column or this. So, and then there's, there's the different things inside of that API group that you can apply different um, or selectively. A, choose which yeah, the, uh, verbs you want to apprive to. So if I do Y, does it tell me? Yeah, so verbs, delete, delete collection, get list, patch, create, update, watch. Yeah, so in combination with the command that you did earlier from a CLI perspective with mm -hmm. the dash, um, is it dash V equals eight? Yeah. So you can see which API endpoint it's talking to, and then you can dissect from there you know, that's the specific Ooh. command, but that'll at least help to find which API endpoint you want to talk to. And then using these two commands, you can figure out one, what verbs are there and two, what other objects are underneath that API. Yeah. Cool. 
Cool. So what you're saying is I can make a lot of money if I got very good at uh, Kubernetes Arbeck and consulting for people, yes. hacking them and such. Yeah. So, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> well, I think yeah. So I, I think I think I think we're we're, we're at the point in um, this whole Kubernetes thing where it's like you can find a subspecialty and just um, be well, yeah. a uh, consultant in that. So like, yeah, so I think yes, we've been can, at that can... point for a while, but definitely <laughs> infosec. Kubernetes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OC get dollars. There we go. Yeah, that's yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. OC get your dollars. <laughs> I like that. OC get dollars. <laughs> so yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of, especially in OpenShift, because we put a lot of uh, time, effort, and energy into the configuration of it. There's a lot of, uh, was, you know, API restrictions in place, and policy that. Uh, you know, keeps the guardrails on, but you can easily, easily turn them all off if you're not careful. Yeah, yeah um, turn them off. <laughs> turn yeah. them all off, or yeah, yeah, or just lock yourself out of them if you're not, you know, being super careful. You know, so, tinker with care when it comes to these things. Isn't that one of those? There used to be a thing. It was uh, like a competition of how to recover or how to handle these scenarios, and there was one where it was somebody replaced the CP binary with something else or, or like uh, LS or something like that. Like yeah, how, yeah, yeah. like if, if you were to have, about. yeah. Yeah. Like, if you lock yourself out of, you know, remove your own role for cluster administrator, how do you recover from that? Right. Uh, couldn't do it. Give me a new cluster. Give me a new cluster. OpenShift, <laughs> OpenShift, delete cluster, and and OpenShift create cluster. <laughs> Reapply all configs. Thank you. Yeah. Well, what do you mean you didn't have your stuff in version control? Oh, but sorry. the data, the data. Mm. OpenShift it's container storage now hates you. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. Now I know. <laughs> um, Hold on. I have um, again. So. Uh, by the way, an another shout out to Andrew Block. Um, he's uh, he's telling me to send him some stuff, so I'll do that. So I'll do that live. So yeah, uh, Nebulizer is asking if he ha has any recommendations that they might want to change about the Datadog supplied config. I'm gonna go look at it again. Yeah, let's go look at it. Um. I feel like this is a loaded question. Yeah, it might be, but hmm. who knows? Not. We'll do it live. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. I don't think so. It might be a group. So, Create. by the way, um, events, quotas. another thing to take into account for authentication, uh, sorry, for, um, for RBAC is that if you are part of the group, some things will, um, will overtake other things, right? So if I assign a user, so let's take my example here of no RSH, but I'm part of a group that allows RSH, um, that'll, it'll, it'll be overwritten, right? Yeah. So, um, so it's one of those things that the most permission wins sort of thing. So if I'm part of a group, um, so which I don't think I'm part of the group, it's an important we'll differentiation to make of most instead of least. Yeah. Right. Like it's not least privileged by default. It is if if the if the multiplexing of roles adds up to like user user has higher permission, right? When you pile everything together. I'm still looking at the data dog thing. It looks pretty clean. And they've even got Am I part of a group? That might be a, uh... no, I am not. Or maybe I am. There's no groups. Okay, so that's not it. Cool. Um, so we're let's... looking at the data dog. Yeah, so I, I, I kind of agree with Chris of, I don't see anything in there that stands out to me. Yeah, um, there's nothing jumping out as being like, Oh my God, don't do that. I mean, they are creating some stuff that I wouldn't be familiar with in here, but meh. Um, or applying configuration that I wouldn't be familiar with in here, yeah. I should say. 
So it's also important to take into account the service account or the account in general that's associated with the role, right? Because right. the the role bindings, a cluster role binding is not namespaced. So whatever namespaces the service account has access to, it's going to be able to do those things to any objects inside of there. Right. So it, it is a two-step thing. And I, I think that's an interesting one that often gets overlooked of, when you execute a pod, it has it is being executed with a service account. There's even there's a default one as well. And from inside of that pod, you can pull out the token and you can then authenticate back into the cluster to make queries. Mm. So even mm -hmm. if your user account doesn't have permissions to do things, if the service accounts that is being used, you can still make things happen either directly or indirectly that may or may not be... Um, desired by the security or administrator team. That's a good point. Very I good learned point. that one. I learned that one the hard way, by the way. Yeah. That's <laughs> Ooh, how did you learn that the hard way? <laughs> um, I am also uh, curious hey, of the so story. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was where did a, this come from? It was in a positive way. Um, okay, good. It was, it was many moons ago. I was um, working for a different company and was trying to research why we were having deployment issues. And it turns out that um, we weren't executing the pod with the right service account. So I kept banging against the API uh, saying, but it says I can do this. Like it can't, like it's, it's letting me do this. Well, why can't you do this? And then I had to basically. So you were using your service account. Yeah. And it was working oh, and gosh. the service yeah. account. So it's like if I created a user on my Linux system and the user didn't have something in its path. Yeah. Basically just because it, it's not going to work. Yeah, it, it was one of those, just because I created the pod doesn't mean the pod is running as me. me. The right, pod correct. is running as the service account, even if that yes. is the default service account. Yep. Right. Cool. Cool. So let's, fun, fun, fun. Uh, let me remove this here. Uh, so just to complete the thought, I have to go here. So, in, uh, so if I do here, uh, user two, um, by default, the, the developer view has um, only the, it'll only show you the, the built-in ones. You have to actually go to the admin view. And then administration, I believe it's administration, or is it user management? It's one of these things here. Someone showed me the other day. No. No. Wait, what are you doing? There we go. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Got distracted by a text message. My bad. That's interesting. Oh yeah, user two edit. I wonder what this is. Disappointed that you have a life outside of Twitch, Chris. <laughs> That's right. I know, right? Like it's amazing. Um. Oh, okay. This is just the role binding. Okay. What are you looking for, Christian? I am um, going to assign. I want to assign the. I've done it with the the admin. I want to sign the NOR RSH to the user too. Oh, through the UI. Yeah, through UI. I saw it before. Uh, go to. Uh, uh, it's not. Thought. I don't think. I think it just shows it under resource quotas. No, it's not resource quotas. Not yeah. limit ranges. It's not. I would think it'd be under there. So let's go to projects. Let's go to this guy here. Did my, bindings. Did my emergency no. backup cluster spin up yet? <laughs> no. No, let's it didn't. Here. It failed. Womp so let's womp. go to... Uh, I know how to do it from the command line, right? So if I do OC... Oops, OC, who am I? Okay, so let's do user... So I'm going to use user one. Uh, username. Username. One day I'll get this right. Mm -hmm. That's not it. What happened to my... There we go. Username is user1. And then I want to do OC um, policy. Add role to uh, user no RSH to which user? User two, the namespace, Yoshi. 
And I think that should show up here. Yeah, so that shows up here. So we got no RSH here. It, it shows up there, but not in the developer view from what I understand. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go to project access. Oh, OK, yeah, I have to remove this. There we go. Well, I guess it, I, I, we, we can show that after. We can show how like one supersedes the other. Um, so role bindings, there we go. No RSH, so user two has no RSH. So now if I log in as user two and I do OC get pods, OC RSH, this guy, um, actually, let me do OC, who am I? To make sure I'm user two, which I am. Yeah, so now, now I'm forbidden, right? So now I can RSH into the pod. Um, what I can do though, oops, let me get log out of here. Open shift. Um, I can still um, I can still edit this, right? So I can still scale up, scale down, right? If I can RSH to it, no one can. I can scale it to zero. Um, so I can do everything needed to do a uh, um, to do edit, but without doing RSH, right? So now, um, so um, the big takeaway from from that just completing that thought was to um, take something that's already there. Uh, and just modify it for what you need. So um, I am curious, though. So what happens if I do a can I? Going back I was to just this getting ready to suggest that. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably still going to say no. Oh, I was going to say it's going to say yes. <laughs> that would really. <laughs> yeah, just to piss you off. <laughs> yeah. <exactly>. yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to have yes, right? Uh, so OC get pods, OC RSH. So I can as user one. Uh, can I, as user one, it's going to say no. Log level equals eight. Sure. The only reason I'm doing this is because Andy asked me to do this. By the way, Andy had a great um, summit talk. So if you guys want to go to the summit talk, um, um, I think I think the videos are still up on Summit, right? They'll, they'll be up. I'm for a searching while. for it right now. Yeah, they should well, they should be up for a year. Yeah. So he he did one on our back. I'm searching. It says allowed equals false. Oh boy, where where do did we put him on the main Red Hat one? I think. No, you have to go like to like the summit page for Red Hat, like redhat.com slash summit, I think. Yeah. And it'll rewrite you. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm still on this can I. This is this is this is gonna this is gonna You have to register apparently. This okay. is gonna I, I won't be able to sleep at night. Um <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> if I don't <laughs> if I don't if I don't figure this out. Uh, good stuff. So, um, can I do dash OYAML? No. So I would think that, well, I saw that in the, um, in the API call. Going back. Verb. I wonder if it's a sub resource. I don't think so. Pods are pods. Off can I list jobs batch bar? No. Okay, so let's say. Um, is it also OC? There's also uh, who can? No. 
there was something. I wonder if it's because role bindings. So I want all oh, of this is probably fail. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, I'm thinking that because I'm part of a, uh, maybe OpenShift puts me in part of a group that I can't see, then that, that wouldn't explain it. That would explain if it says yes and I couldn't. You're just not going to sleep tonight, are you? I am not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know that there is a command that will print out all of your permissions but yeah. I cannot remember what it is. And I can't, uh, I'm struggling to remember what even the sub command is in order to try and search for it. It's not get, it's, it's not get, it's something else. View? No. No. OC get. OC API apply. Off? No, not off. Uh, roles. Oh, um, describe. describe. Uh, that's a namespace. Um, this is not what I was expecting. This just shows uh, OC get cluster roles. I think it'd be a cluster role. Yeah. So the cluster role. Cluster role bindings. Yeah, because there should be um, not all these spaces. I want it maybe on Yoshi. I want Yoshi. No, it's the same thing. I think it's just a global one. Um, and then I want. OK, so it's basic users. I found OC policy who can. I think that was. I think that that's that was the one I was thinking about earlier. So OC policy can I? OC policy who can? OC policy SCC review. I wonder. What that okay, like. there it is. Okay, so uh, OC policy who can ex execute pods? In the namespace Yoshi. We got OpenTSC manager, and then these users. Okay. Um. System cluster admin, system masters. Okay, so that wasn't. So there goes that theory. For. Okay. Never well, and, yeah, no, well, because I was thinking that, because like when I go to um, OC get, uh, yeah, cluster role bindings, and I was looking like maybe like a basic user or authenticated, like if I'm part of a group that is allowed to mm -hmm. or isn't allowed to or some. Are you some in the right like namespace? That. Check your namespace. Yoshi. He said Yoshi. Yeah. Did you who do can that? oh in you mean like this yeah yeah so um by the way thanks chris this is this is actually a good command for so, so for those of you on on the stream yeah sorry um <laughs> the, the, I, I don't want to gloss over this this is no, like no, OC the oc policy. policy command is super 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 fun yeah uh, so like who can do x, x. Right, in like this. you can literally say like who can do exec, who can do RSH, mm -hmm. who can do anything, list, you name it. Um, what would be cool? Let's see, let's see, hold on. Who cannot? Ah, oh, uh, so no, we're not so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we're not so lucky. Um, <laughs> I'm still looking here. OC. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. So. Because I was wondering, like, if I'm part of a group, I, it's still just it, it's it's still it's making me crazy that how I <laughs> how it displays no, but I can. It would make sense to me if it were the opposite way, but can execute pods in Yoshi. So. Um, And it says system cluster admin. I'm trying to view. 
So these are all the service accounts attached to this. It's interesting because it doesn't list user one, even though user one is, is I created this. in there. Yeah, yeah, he's the admin of this of this um, uh, of this namespace. This is this is a this weird, is like, weird voodoo. This is like let me go find an engineer type stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> let me go find an engineer. <laughs> Any engineers out there? Come help. Uh, <laughs> Local host, okay. So That's weird, yeah. Unless it puts, uh, it, unless it puts it under the group, right? Like it just no, because the one that would it list it as a user, so that still well, doesn't make sense. It says yeah. group system cluster admins, but then there's no system cluster like there's system admin, right? So it's not like it's under like you, you see what I'm saying, right? Like it's yeah. not like it tossed your user under another user or group or anything. It, obviously, you can't toss it under another user. Um, so yeah, why the hell is yeah? It and, and and user one isn't a, isn't a isn't a, a system cluster admin. Right, that's essentially yeah. a group, and it's definitely not a master of the system. Um, yeah, that's weird. Is any oops? Yeah, it would be nice if there was a where do I get this permission from? Yeah, exactly. You know, where I do I get? Oh, uh, there was an inheritance thing I saw the other day. Ah, uh, crap. No, dang. okay. Now I got to find my history. Like OC policy tree would be nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> service account. No, we don't need a service account. Uh, user from current project. Authorization overview. It might be a different API that it's calling. Um, Because it may be a project. See, I'm gra 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 grasping at straws here. Cube cuddle auth can I? Mm -hmm. Can I create deployments dash dash name space? Yes or no? No. So try wait, did, were you using auth or not? I was doing um You were doing OC. just OC can I, right? No, OC auth. You were doing auth. Okay, never mind. Okay. Can I um, exec pods into Yoshi, right? Like you're saying. Right, you like this, specify yeah. your namespace. Yeah. And you can also specify a user as dash dash as if you want to like make, make extra sure you're using the right user. <laughs> yeah. So as um, user one, right? It says no. Weird. God. Yeesh. How? OC auth, um, who can, right? Yeah. Is that what we're, that's what we were doing earlier, right? Yeah, uh, OC policy. Yeah. OC policy, who can, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And Yoshi. Uh, because it would be. What roles are assigned to that user two? Oh yeah. Um, uh, dash o yaml. Describe maybe. Yeah, OC describe. Cube cuddle off reconcile reconciles everything. We'll see describe user user two nothing like way digging into the docs here i do a yaml describe with a yaml does that work <laughs> uh, just says i'm a kind user i'm no part of not part of any group um get user user two oh yaml um I'm deep in the docs here. Yeah. OC get. Um, yeah, so let's, let's do a Eric Jacobs um, docs. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. 
That's why we're here. We're learning together. Learning, learning together. That's right. <clears throat> uh, I feel like I'm close to the uh, answer. API discovery roles. Default role binding authorized unauthenticated. So I think it's in the GUI, but I don't know the CLI command. Oh, oh well, where is it in the GUI? Oh, I think it's good. under the user details. Oh, what they can do specifically? Well, what, what roles are assigned? So under user management? Uh, I'm just going to do this as admin. Yeah, as well. So, um, yeah, user management, users, right? Uh, user two, role bindings. I'm just no RSH on the namespace Yoshi. That's the only thing I'm doing, I'm part of. Hmm. And then if I do user one, role bindings, I'm an admin. Let's look at the admin YAML. So the role binding admin, okay, in Yoshi, user one. Okay, cool. So there's a, a question, Christian. Uh, uh -huh. I would have thought configuring the users on the OpenShift platform would be much more simpler than looking at uh, this. Thoughts, question mark? So it is it is simple. We are actually trying to debug something, um, which I think we might be getting a little lost going down. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing is we've configured a user that shouldn't be able to do certain things, and yet, it is able to do certain things. So no, the, the it's actually the other way the around. Yeah, 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 the other way around, which is <laughs> which is which is more even more confusing, right? Um, I'd say it's even more nuanced than that. In that they're allowed to do it, but the command that queries whether or not they're allowed to do it says no, no, yes, yeah. but they actually can do it. But when we do deny that activity, it does behave as expected. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so I, I don't, I have not this, seen, I don't know if there's any plans for like a GUI based tool. And this is, Andrew doesn't dig around in the GUI a whole lot either. Um, around, so create me a role with a bunch of checkboxes, right? Very much to your point earlier of, is there a tree yeah. view? Um, so that's through the administrator console. I could go in and say, you know, create the no RSH rule and check, 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 or copy slash clone yeah. this rule into a new one and then edit it, um, which you can do through YAML, of course. Um, but that might be a good suggestion for the UX team uh, if yes. we haven't, if there isn't yeah. something already out there for that. And and that's been a request for a while now. And Has in, it? Yeah, well, it's since, since the beginning, right? So since the beginning um, of version three, Right before mm. Kubernetes had our back, we had OpenShift, and that was a request even then. Like, okay, like this is this is all cool, and you get pretty granular. Um, but but play it to me, make it make, make sense yeah. of it for me. Yeah, yeah, make sense of it for <laughs> me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no RSH. Okay, so that doesn't give me anything. So I got groups. Mm. There's no groups. Mm -hmm. so that makes mm. sense. Um. Yeah, so user one, it says I have admin to Yoshi, which is, yeah, okay, that makes sense. User two now has no RSH, right? Which we, we that's, we did that, but user one. KubeCuddle plugins that let you do this are enumerating every binding. So there's no real way to look up. The, I'm reading uh, chat. Yeah. There's no way to look up what users are members of a role, cluster role binding and open shift for Kate's uh, need to enumerate all bindings to identify the user. The cube cuddle plugins that let you do this are enumerating every binding. So we would have to uh, blow out everything, right? Like describe all the stuff and then extrapolate from that what that user could do. Which I guess looking at it from a Kubernetes perspective kind of makes sense because it's kind of cloud native 
you know, big systems design, not necessarily like, oh, this one user, are they allowed to do X? No, that user should be part of a group, that group should be allowed to do X, so forth, so on, right? Like, so enforce be an, best practices. That's an interesting one. I wonder if ACM will solve that for multi-cluster. To be clear, that will ACM will. is Red Hat uh, Advanced Cluster Management. New, shiny new product we got. Yes, shiny new product. You know, namespace, limit range, create, truncate, da, da, da. So that, that makes sense to me. So it's not like we're, we're asking anything weird. In the namespace Yoshi, can we exec pods? It says false, even though user one's admin. Hmm. So it's telling me no, even though it's yes. So that, that's what we're trying to debug. Why, why is it telling us no? And can you, like after this, can we sit down and like just spell out exactly everything we did and like maybe ask somebody like how the hell this happened because I don't think it should be. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I agree. I think, I think it, it should tell us what's actually going on. Or if, if it isn't, it's not clear to see why it's the way it is. Right, exactly. So it's a si so I'm uh, I can't say his name to save my life, but I'm pretty sure the person that's writing in chat is also the person that wrote the the Kubernetes operators book. No, the Kubernetes patterns book. Patterns. So it said it might be uh, someone in chat saying it might be an effect on how you look up objects. So that's, that's what I, that's what I'm wondering. It is. It's yeah. Like, what am, am I invoking? Give me all bindings where the user equals Joe. Like that doesn't exist. Yeah. Like LDAP, right? Like at LDAP, right. you can get yeah, yeah. pretty. You can get pretty gnarly with the LDAP um, search. Yeah. Um, ML Biome, I think, is Belgium Ibrium from Kubernetes Patterns fame. Oh, ah, okay. I think. The names line up. I don't know. I could be wrong. Identify yourself, random user from Twitch land. <laughs> random user from <laughs> Twitch land. That seems nope. very educated. Nope. Okay. nope, that's not the person. Okay, well, you're very smart on Kubernetes. Thank you for yeah. joining. <laughs> so, da -da. post this to reviews. Huh. I'm I'm just not seeing it. Yeah. I'm just not seeing why. Oh, it's, it's Mark. Me. Duh. Oh, oh Mark. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so I'm not seeing why it's telling yeah. me no when in fact it's yes. So it is yes. I know it's yes. So it's it's not like uh, the behavior is wrong. It's the reporting isn't matching what the behavior that we want. So we it's want this behavior. Like, it's almost like complex systems are hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually in the so, name, Complex Systems. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, uh, what do they say? What is it about rocket science? No. Uh, bomb text. If you see me running, follow me, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you see me running, follow me. Yeah. yeah I think um, that's the only direction you need, right? If you see me yeah. running. Yeah. <laughs> This might be one of those problems you see me running away from, unless I can file a bug against it with somebody somewhere, but I don't even know like, yeah. where yeah. to begin. Well, so, so, um, uh, Mr. Mark says, what's wrong? So what's wrong is... So, um, so to summarize, I, yeah. have, I have a user, user one, that owns a project named Yoshi. Um, and this user is an admin. So that's okay. So that's fine. But when I ask, um, oops, uh, can I, right? So like as user one, can I execute exec pods in the namespace Yoshi? It's telling me no, although, um, we'll see, get pods. As expected, I can um, OC exec into this pod, um, you know, bin bash. That's expected because as user one, I'm an admin. I, I should be able to, but yeah. it's just telling me 
that I can't, even though I can, the reporting, I guess, is what's wrong. <laughs> so the reporting is wrong. Yeah, the, the reporting is <laughs> dead wrong. The reporting is wrong. The, the behavior is what I is, is fine, is what we want, but the behavior is exactly as we expected, right? Should, it's yeah. not that we're specifying something and it's yeah. not letting us. It's we're specifying something and it's telling us we shouldn't be able to. OC who Yeah, am OC who am I? Yeah, that's we, 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 did, yep. we did all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> we, we we've been there. <laughs> we've, we've, uh, we we walked down this this rabbit hole. Yeah, no, like, like this is a weird one. Like in this March, is a weird like one. I'm like like the fact that like we're we're walking through this together i think is interesting because that's yeah super weird out of, out of all things that i didn't expect to work I, this wasn't one of them no. <laughs> i expected was, that I, that like i would create a policy like the no rsh and like it would break somehow um, right like we'd be working on policy all day but no, yeah exactly the policy no, works no. fine the it's the reporting <laughs> of it that doesn't exactly yeah the policy is fine it's just a, it's just for whatever reason it's telling me um and then mark just put a question mark that's i think that's yeah like, pretty much yeah that's pretty much where i'm at <laughs> that pretty much summarizes <laughs> um shrug emoji um so, what else so what I other add? what other mind-bending things can we throw yeah uh, can you attach pods no 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 is pod equal to pods yeah, it's yeah, it is. Yeah, it's 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 plural or synchronous or whatever. Yeah, it, you can use the uh, OC API dash resources to see all the shorthand versions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shorthand is po. And there is no singular. Pod. So we we decided. I think pod. the can I might be wrong. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, like the way I'm, the way I'm asking wrong. it might be wrong is what I, what yeah. I think. I just can't see how I can't, how I can't else see would that. You ask. Yeah. Yeah. I just like to point out that pod is so difficult to, to type that we took out the D. Right. Validating webhook configurations. We have no short name. Mm, so. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Horizontal pod scalers where you put HPA. Yeah, HPA. Yeah. Yeah. Pod. Some of these, we put yeah. po. Not P, oh. just Po. Um, <laughs> so funny. Or, or cluster roll. Yeah, so off can I. Um, he says it's, that's what I'm thinking, that I, I might be invoking it wrong. Can I create? Can I? Ex um, yeah, that's what I try. And, um, can I so, get pods slash exec ah that's a good question i'm just wondering you must specify to do, so i need, we need to do verb and then resource and then an optional so resource name right try, try um, oc can oc auth can i um ex or create pod dot exec Ooh. fancy the server doesn't know pods um, oh Okay. No. Basically, I'm making that up on the spot, but yeah. So the, oh, so the verb. <laughs> this, yeah. this is a good point, though, right? Like, oh, hey, look oh, this. there you go. Okay, there it is. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but but so yes, we I found think, the answer. Yeah. But to Andrew's yeah. point, no matter what, the default was it's going to tell you no. Yeah. Look, so warning: the server doesn't have a resource type pods. Blah 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 blah. It's going to tell you no if it doesn't know about it. So can okay, I create so, so, so the logic so the logic there is remember when we looked at the verbs that are available exec yeah. is not a verb yeah. so what you're doing is you're creating an exec That's what it was against oh. the pod so exec Crap. is essentially a sub resource wow yeah, so, thank you mark yes so um what was that one where you where um, andrew that the command where it listed all the verbs dash o um, wide api it, resources, oh, resources. Yeah. okay okay um, yeah, so I have the, yeah, so it's, um, if I go do pods, oh God, I messed up. Okay. Um, uh, VI. Mm. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Is it pod? 
unexpected arguments. Oh, wait. Now I know what I'm doing. Sorry. And then pod. pod. So pod, you could get create, delete, delete collection, get list, pass. Yeah, so exec is not part. So, um, right. so the create, so this is like a, the, the basic CRUD thing, right? So in order to exit your, yeah, okay. So we, we figured out why. So we want to hit, want to be able to do the verb create pod exec, because exec is the sub, um, mm -hmm. a sub, uh, what, what, what do they call it? A sub resource, right? So here it says pod log deployment scale. So that's what that was. That's kind of a different convention than, I mean, because look, like even like deployments dot extension, like I get it as a sub resource, not a, not an object. Oh, okay, fine. They specify like today. I learned. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sub resources are uh annotated differently than objects okay cool so here yeah yeah <laughs> so can i create an xd so yes and then oc who am i um to bring this back full circle i'm user user one so um now you could you could run that same command with um, as dash 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 as user not, two not not as user one though i mean oh, you yeah, couldn't? this, this Let's try that. I don't think it lets. I don't think it lets standard yeah, users assume, okay. Okay. assume cool. roles of other users. Yeah, you can't impersonate. Yeah, never mind. That's a good idea. You should become user two. Yeah, so you can say, uh, user two. <laughs> such a can, user. Uh, such a user. Such so a can user. I create exec pods? Huh? Yes. That should be no. Um, uh, now we're getting the opposite problem. Uh huh. Yes, but you, you didn't change anything, and yeah, no, I'm forbidden. Okay. We we were almost we, we were almost there. Okay. I think, okay, so I can't ex execute. Uh, can I create so pause? Is it? Okay. says yes. Okay, so now we have the opposite oh problem. <laughs> God. You can tell by looking at the API docs for an object dot sub resources. Uh, or listed as additional, listed as additional, URLs. As additional cool. URLs. Okay. Cool. The API docs for uh, for Kubernetes, I would imagine. For an object, sub resources. Now we've got the inverse problem URLs. where it's telling you that you can, but you can't. But I can't. But the behavior is fine. <laughs> Because behavior is what we want, but now Jesus H. Christ. Is it possible yeah. that can I is just one of those things that sucks? <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> or it's it's what it's one of those commands that no one like really pays No one really to. like has given yeah. proper attention to, maybe. <laughs> so kind can of like I lingering. Create pods and sex. All allowed option. Um to so do uh let me yes but why do uh crap now <laughs> i was trying to say like do a list can i create pods exact can you create pods this is, R is rsh okay um what would do uh So here, project, uh, projects, delete. Okay. So can I delete no? Um oh, it's not namespace scoped. So this is no. Okay. Which is expected. Mm -hmm. And then username. So user one. Can I delete project? Yes. Okay. So that's expected. Because I am the admin of this project. The user one's the admin of this project. So now what's tripping me up <laughs> is the fact that. Uh... 
Yeah, so uh, can I, mother may I? It's telling me yes, even though it's a no. Yeah, it's, it's telling me yes, even though it's a no. You got me, man. Like, I'm going to send this whole thing off to, uh, like, Aaron Crickenberg and just be like, what mm -hmm. the hell? <laughs> yeah, what's, what's going on? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Yeah. I'm trying to find this the list of sub-resources um, that would apply. Um, I just, I don't understand why I would say yes. When in, we've proven it defaults to no, and you can't. So, <laughs> uh, uh, reference stocks, API, uh, Kubernetes API. This does not have what I want. Yeah, that's the concept doc, isn't it? I think it may be the first one that I was looking at. It's an old one. Yeah. 1.11. This uh 17. 17, yeah. Hmm. You've got like pod v1 core there. So exec would be a I guess we just look all at all of them. Yeah, we're just on core. Containers. It might, the exec might be, that would be all containers in a pod. I was just wondering if we're not specifying something else, like something more specific. Because when you do a, an exec, it assumes the first container. If it has multiple containers, you have to specify the actual containers you want to do the exec on. Yeah, and that's just a dash C command line op yeah. option. So there is an exec action in V1 core. Where is the exec action? It's an action you said? There you go. Exec action V1 core. Command is the command line to exceed blah, blah, blah. Command is simply executed, not run inside a shell. So traditionally, shell injection this won't work. To use a shell, you need to explicitly call out that shell. Yeah, okay. I wonder if is it is exec one of those things where it's like it's you short. have some underlying permission that exec calls upon or something, or is, or it, is aggregation? it like an aggregation? Is it shorthand? Thing? Yeah. Yeah. And one is recognizing the shorthand and the other isn't. No, it isn't recognizing, yeah. So this is yes. Okay. Let's do a log level. Let's see if I see anything here. I always do a log level eight if I don't. Um, so it says create status allowed equals true. Although it answered okay. false here. So kubectl exec process creates a process. And then checks to see if it has access to the Kate's API server, right? Yeah. So it's user controlled. Container shouldn't matter. Like the, I thought exec was like one of the simpler things. So it says reason RBAC allowed by role binding no RSH cluster role no RSH to user. So maybe you got something I, nested in there. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but if it's nested, how the hell would it not work? So pod attach, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pods port forward, pods proxy, attach port forward, proxy, resources, API groups, that's for metrics. 
Get this watch. I wonder if it's grabbing something else from over here. Oh, metrics, case.io. Get list watch, there's no create. Pods, get list watch, there's no create. Yeah, that's... That's... Hmm. Let's see if I can... Oops. Um, I'll just say can I, but I've been... I, I just I, I don't I don't trust this so yeah I <laughs> can I I don't know it'll say yes or no you may or may not though <laughs> it may be the opposite um, uh, so there's a question we've only got a couple of minutes left um, yeah can yeah, you I link mean, to I... a guide for setting up users and roles. Um, for example, we have two different teams that will need access to the OpenShift platform to maintain and deploy their product containers without seeing one another's namespace. So, I, it, I'm sorry. I'll read it. Reading. Can you all link to a guide for setting up users and roles in OpenShift? Like, that's it. Two it's different teams need. that will need access to OCP paths to maintain and deploy their product containers without seeing another. Okay, I think that's the. Yeah. Uh, that's um, the trick. That's well, I think that's the default. So, so yeah, yeah like, they won't. They won't be. They won't be able to see, able to see each other's. Yeah. Yeah. They. Yeah, they won't even be able to see like anyone's namespace they're not a part of, right? Yeah, so if I go here, correct, correct, you won't need to be able just just to see like it, right? it'll like it'll just look like it doesn't exist, right? Like there could so, be some resource they might see, or yeah, some contention OC, they might see, or usage they might see, but they won't know like where it's coming from. Even I if I do an OC get projects, I only see the projects I have access to, right? Um, and then the um, setting up users and groups, um, the documentation is I'll drop this here in the chat. The documentation is, um, this is the slices, silces. There it is. Um, this is a good, uh, a good overview of user groups, but the, the default behavior is that um, you only have access to what you have access to. So if you give access to a user or a group to one namespace, um, whatever it is, like admin access to an, a namespace, they can admin that one namespace locally. Yeah. Um, yeah, like it's, it, it, and this is why, like for operators, right? Like we've realized that some people might want to uh, be able to control their own operator and their own namespace. Right now we have it set up so you have to be a cluster admin to run out operators. That's kind of becoming like a problem. So we've realized that yeah. we need to give more granular access control to operators so that people can run operators in their own namespace because, well, they can't run them anywhere else unless they're cluster admin right now. And that's putting a burden on everyone administering OpenShift clusters right now. So yeah, uh, this is definitely something that is granular as all get out and <laughs> can add a lot of, um, you know, burden if you're not careful, but by default, it's pretty safe, right? Like if you create a user over here, that's all they're going to see is what's over there. If you create a user over here in another namespace, they're only going to see this namespace. Uh, if you create a user that sees multiple namespaces, but not all, they will only see what they can have access to. I think I figured it out. So no, I can't go. RSH. Okay. So that's true. Because I am user two. If I are RSH, I can't. So that makes sense. And then um, user one, can I create pod subs resource execute? Yes, and that's true because can RSH. All right. For whatever reason, it just doesn't like the slash. 
Interesting. Yeah. Um, because user two, if I do, uh, can I? Oops, can I? Says, uh, says yes, even though I can't. Hmm. That's expected. It just oh, wow. doesn't like the. It just doesn't, it doesn't like, the, like slash. the slash. Yeah. <laughs> Syntax will get you every time, every, time. <laughs> <laughs> every damn time. Yeah. So, so thank you for joining this two hours of us, us getting tripped up over syntax. slash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, this, this is. We'll come back to another Arbeck. Ask us anything you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. At, at some point in time in the future, I feel like hopefully. <laughs> um. So, so yeah, that's, uh, so syntax, uh, we were, like you said, syntax is everything. Syntax is everything, right? Like it's timing and syntax, right? Like those two things, if you get those right, everything works. If you don't, that's right, yeah. no, no, you got big problems, but you got, you got big problems. This is true. Big problems. But yeah, so uh, to wrap this up, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we really appreciate all the help from the audience, all the help uh, with, you know, just figuring out and being patient and working with us here. Uh, we have a follower goal in progress. We are trying to hit 1,000 uh, Twitch followers by the end of June. We are currently at 529. I will actually drop the uh, Streamlabs uh, like counter thingy in chat so you all can watch it update live if necessary or so 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 you see fit um but please we'll, ha tell we'll, your we'll have a big party right yeah we like, not, we, we'll have a big 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 party on twitch when we reach on twitch a big a, a, a big, virtually we, distant we, party we could yes, have virtually a, distant <laughs> we could have a happy hour on twitch i have no problem with that where you come in and ask your questions and you know we do some fun things on on twitch you know maybe uh once we hit that thousandth follower we'll get there but uh cake and hats we can send you yes right uh, cake, hats, cake and hats that's right cat, i don't the, know the cake, the cake might not make it that 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 get a little shifty in transit i feel like that's right um but yes, please tell your friends, please subscribe, please get the word out there that we are doing this, you know, every day for OpenShift Commons. I know they're scheduling stuff, but we are, my team specifically, we have stuff multiple times a week. Uh, we just had a wonderful developer advocate session the first thing this morning. So yeah, keep joining us, keep after us. We're very happy to have you here. Tomorrow we will be on again. With uh, I'm going to do a rerun of Mark's show because uh, I had some audio issues first thing in the morning tomorrow. Um, and then at noon, we'll be joined by OpenShift Commons for uh, Runtime Component Operator. Hmm. Nice. No idea what that is. But, Sounds uh, exciting. Ar yeah, Arthur De Maga. Arthur from IBM will be joining us tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> um, I like how you just gave up. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that reminds me. That reminds me of Office Space, where it's like, um, what's his name? And he goes, Naga. Not well, not gonna work here anymore, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was like one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> <laughs> all right as always um i need to get uh like an faq panel built into our twitch channel here in a few minutes but as always if you're curious what's coming up on the the the, the calendar here uh drop it into the channel uh red dot ht slash stream cal all one word you can subscribe to that google calendar and uh be well aware of what's coming up in the uh, live stream. We're trying to get things uh, scheduled further out in advance so that we can uh, get y'all heads up sooner rather than later. We know you're busy and it's hard to get blocks of time in your calendar for things like this. So thank you. Thank you all so much. Any parting words, cool. gentlemen? No. I thank you for, uh, um, for putting up with us. And yeah. uh, it was a lot of fun. Well, it was fun for me. I learned something new. So <laughs> yeah, I learned that, something new too. Great. Wow. I mean, that's that's intense. Who would have known yeah. it was just syntax that what I had learned? But hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, syntax uh, matters. But syntax yes, thank matters. you, everyone. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Likewise. guys.